Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will learn how to create and manage a new resource group in Azure using the Azure portal. To understand what is a resource group, we need to first understand what a resource means in Azure. In Azure, the term resource refers to an entity managed by Azure. For example, virtual machines, virtual networks and storage accounts are all referred to as Azure resources. Each resource in Azure must belong to a resource group. A resource group is simply a logical construct that groups multiple resources together so they can be managed as a single entity based on life cycle and security. We can organize resources into resource groups based on what makes the most sense for organization. For example, resources that share a similar life cycle such as for a resources an application may be created or deleted as a group. The resource group enables us to manage and organize resources based on life cycle, permissions, billing and policies. The resource group stores metadata about the resources. When we specify a location for the resource group, we are specifying where that metadata is stored. For compliance reasons, we might need to ensure that our data is stored in a particular region. Resources inside a resource group can be in different regions. We can create a resource group in Azure either through an Azure portal or through Azure Cloud Shell. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. On home page, under navigate, click on resource group. You can also use global search bar to find resource group. Your existing resource groups will be displayed here. In our case, we don't have any resource group created yet. So let's create a new resource group using Azure portal. On the resource group page, Click Create button. Fill in required information. Select the name of Azure subscription in which you want to create the resource group. This field is pre-populated with a subscription. If required, we can select the required subscription from the drop-down list. In our case, we only have one subscription with the name Azure subscription. And that subscription is already selected. This is mandatory field. Now enter a unique name for our resource group. For this example, I am giving name MSFT YTRG01. Azure portal will check that the name is unique for the selected Azure subscription. Next, select the Azure region where the metadata for the resource group will be stored. We will select East US region. Although we select a region for a resource group, the resources within it don't have to be located in that region. Throughout this video series, we will use the East US region to store our Azure resources. You have to select the region according to your location. Click Next to continue. On this page, we have the option to add tags to help organize and manage our Azure resources. We will have a dedicated video on this topic. At the moment, I am going to click Next to continue. Review the selections which you have made. Click Create once validation passes. If everything looks good, click on Create. It takes a few seconds to create a resource group. We can see the pop-up message that resource group has been created successfully. Once the resource group is created, we can view it by going back to the resource group section. To refresh the resource group list, select Refresh from the top menu. We can see a newly created resource group. To open the newly created resource group, select it from the list. Or select notification from the top, then select go to resource group to open the newly created resource group. To customize the information displayed for the resource group, configure the filters. Currently, our resource group is empty. We can also lock our resource group, which prevents other users in our organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources such as an Azure subscription, resource group or individual resources. Expand settings and then click on locks. To add a lock to the resource group, select add. Enter a lock name. 
We can also add a node to explain why we have locked this resource group. Now select the lock type. The lock type includes read only and delete. We will select delete. This will prevent other users from deleting this resource group. Click OK. Perfect. We have successfully created a lock on our resource group. This will prevent our organization's users from deleting this resource group. To modify the lock, you need to click on this edit icon. And if you want to delete the lock, select the delete button. It will ask us for the confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete this lock? Click on delete. This will delete the lock which we have configured on this resource group. In Azure portal, there are several ways to locate the existing resource group. For example, you can use the search bar or the navigation menu. In the search bar at the top, Type resource groups and select it from the results. Now on the left side, click on navigation pane. Now click resource groups in the side navigation pane. This is how we can locate existing resource groups in Azure portal. Let's see how we can delete existing resource group. Open the resource group you want to delete. For this example, let's delete MSFTYT RG01 resource group. Click on this resource group. In the top bar, select Delete Resource Group. Keep in mind, if you have stored any resources under the resource group which you are deleting, those resources will also be deleted. In the confirmation window, type the resource group name to confirm deletion. Let me type the resource group name MSFT YTRG01. Click Delete to delete the selected resource group. The pop up window is giving us a warning that deleting this resource group and its dependent resources is a permanent action. It cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to proceed with deletion? Click yes to delete the selected resource group. Let's again click on resource groups to verify it. At the moment, the resource group is present. Let's wait for a few seconds. We can see the confirmation message that resource group has been deleted successfully. At the moment, we don't have any resource group in our Azure environment. This is how we can create and manage resource group in Azure portal. That's all for this video on how to create and manage resource group in Microsoft Azure. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.